out will look out no more. Parliament takes the stage, or rather the screen, again. Those who have been its privileged members, men and women, for the last four years, vacate their seats and disappear into their constituencies, where you and I will probably hear from one or two of them in their quest for re-election. In the City of London, the King's proclamation for the dissolution of Parliament is read by the common crier and sergeant-at-arms, Mr. W.T. Boston, on the steps of the Royal Exchange. Hear him. By the King, a proclamation for dissolving the present Parliament and declaring the calling of another. We won't give you the whole time on adoration, but merely echo the common crier's last words. God save the king! <laughs>